Hello there, welcome to my get together. My name is Aleka and today's recipe is such a good one because it's one of my favorite types of appetizers, a cold one that can be made in advance. They're the best kind of appetizers, right? You make it the night before, a couple days before, and you set it in the fridge and you forget about it and you whip it out last minute as company arrives and you're stress free and everyone will think you spent hours working on it that day. So this dip is a cheesy cold pretzel dip. It is perfect for hard pretzels like these or the stick kind or really they come in so many different shapes and sizes any pretzel dip, even a soft pretzel would be totally fine. It is on the thicker side, so a soft pretzel may not be e as easy to dip into as a hard would be. There are about seven ingredients. We have cheddar cheese, cream cheese, beer, okay, garlic powder, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and a green onion or a scallion, okay? You can use one or two of these, depending how big this guy is. It adds brightness and freshness to your dip. The best way to mix up our dip is to use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer as well if you want. Just make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature because if it's not, it's gonna be much harder to mix together. I'm going to use my stand mixer and I'm just going to throw everything in, mix it up. It mixes up in less than five minutes and we could literally be eating this in less than six. Okay. All right. Let's get started. My grater. Okay. So we're going to grate this. The better the cheddar, the better the dip. Okay. Next, get your cream cheese ready to toss in. There he is. And then I'm gonna chop up my scallion, okay? Okay, now that this is all chopped up, we're just gonna toss everything in, here we go. Okay, so in we go. And last but not least, our beer. Now, a lot of people ask me what kind of beer should I use in my pretzel dip? That is up to you. However, I do recommend staying away from any fruity, citrusy beers. They will not go as well with the cheese as a standard yingling or lager type beer. You can even use a Miller Lite, but like any light beers would work fine. Just nothing super fla like unique, uniquely flavorful that wouldn't go normally with a savory, uh, something savory, you know. I'm gonna use just a Heineken. So we're gonna add half a cup of our beer. It's done! That was literally 30 seconds of mixing. The perfect consistency. You don't want it too hard. You guys know those dips that are so hard when you scoop a chip in it, it breaks, and then everyone's staring you at the party like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna stick their fingers in the dip? Are they gonna go for it? Are they gonna leave it in there? I mean, <laughs> no matter what you choose to do, it's the wrong decision, so. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna garnish with some more green onions because it looks pretty. Okay, and then also, Something else I like to do is add a little bit more cheddar cheese to the top so that people know that it's a real good, good and cheesy dip, right? You're getting what you paid for, that cheesy goodness. And there we go. If you guys want more recipes and dips like this, make sure you subscribe below and give this video a like. And if you want, hit the bell because then you'll get notified whenever I post a new recipe video. And you can also check out all the recipes in my blog by visiting the link below. Have a great party and happy hosting, everybody. Bye-bye.